Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben. And today we have the best whiskies of the year 2022. Yes, it's going to have the whiskey.com awards. It was quite difficult. It was difficult. Yeah, we had a long list. I've took, taken out every single uh, award that we've given out and had a close look at them. And then we... Huh. The, the first step was easy, like sieving out all the ones that just barely made it. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we've done it down to say about 10 or something like that. And then we worked ourselves down to six. And these are the six whiskies that we actually kind of nominated mm -hmm. that really, that really had a good chance of winning an award. And should we start with the nominations and then with the awards? Yes. So one of the nominations was, a, I think it was a very late entry with a, with a Balachin. Yeah, the Balachin Oloroso, 12 years of age, a peated whiskey from the Highlands, from one further uh, smallest distillery uh, in Scotland, not no longer today. Um, and it was completely matured in Oloroso sherry casks, a uh, wonderful piece of work, uh, cast strength, so, yeah, Andrew Simon just really did a good, yeah. really, really good, did, did a good job on that yeah. one. So it's nominated, it just barely didn't make it to the best whiskey of the year 2020, mm -hmm. so it didn't get an award just by a margin. Then what you really liked was the Kinnahan's Cask Project. Yes, this is the only Irish whiskey here on the cask. And oh, it is an Irish, oh, we don't yeah. have that many of them. Um, and uh, they had uh, different casks. Uh, built together and that gave a complexity for an Irish whiskey, which is typically very straightforward, very smooth, very elegant. And this one shows complexity from the cask. Portuguese, American, French oak, Hungarian oak, chestnut. Chestnut? Yeah. yeah In yeah. a hybrid cask, chestnut hybrid <laughs> cask. Oh my God. So they, uh, they mixed the saves. And build new casts. They look yeah. funny. So they, they should get an award <laughs> alone for that because yeah. mixing staves and chestnut. Yeah. Oh, that that sounds horrible for getting it airtight. Yeah, uh, isn't allowed in Scotland. Chestnut isn't allowed in Scotland. Oh yeah, maybe yeah, or, or in in the yeah. UK. And then the other one, one I was Glencadam, the Reserva yeah. Andalusia. And when we tasted that, uh, I just returned from Andalusia <laughs> from vacations and. This is an Oloroso sherry cask finish for the Glen Caram, and they did a very good job. Uh, it's 46% uh, ABV. It does not carry an age statement, but it's a, a wonderful, matured, very sherry laden whiskey. And if, if I look at the casks, every one of those <laughs> we had already were matured in special casks. So yes. There's no <laughs> port wine <laughs> cask here on the table. No, it isn't. Yeah. Uh, uh, not, not port wine, uh, sorry, bourbon cask. Bourbon cask. Yeah. yeah, I, I really like the, the Glen Caddam, really. That, that, for me, that was, uh, I actually, <laughs> I was actually uh, saying that should get in, but uh, mm. yeah, in the end, it was a choice and <laughs> it didn't make it, just barely. So these were the three that just just didn't make it and now let's come to the yeah the awards of 2022 the first one was the big peat rock edition and this one is uh i think it was the first from big peat that had sherry in it mm -hmm. and that is just that's just an amazing whiskey so again very peated and uh sherry cask influence like the Belechen. so they mix up to a very complex whiskey and the uh, big peat is always very strong yeah so this is kind of the the brand mm -hmm. being that strong careful it's very very peaty as well mm -hmm. um there was a bit of a discussion uh, if it's actually allowed because we don't give ourselves a little award um yes this is a bottle exclusively for whiskey.de but we had nothing to do with the, uh, the whiskey, the selection inside. We just, uh, we actually worked together with them with the topic. We said, yes, we want to have something that is, yeah, rock and that is, uh, has kind of a, 
yeah, that leather leather jacket on it and, and that, all that kind of stuff. We had our fingers in that one, but nothing to do with the liquid. So mm -hmm. this is not an award for ourselves. This is an award for the Big Pete, the Rock Edition for, yeah, the sherry whiskey inside the bottle. Uh, but it's a really nice bottling. I think it came out with uh, other Big Pete editions as well. So this is number three. Later. <laughs> yeah. So um, now yeah. we come to number two. And this is the Nokandu uh, Master Reserve. It's called 21 years old and priced very reasonably priced at, at 90 euros, dollars, pounds. And this bottle I'm, I'm fond of years and years and decades. So it's very well made and uh, instead or not instead, despite that they uh, omitted the vintage from this year on or last year on. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it is very, very, it shows harmony. It shows sherry cask. <clears throat> it shows uh, bourbon cask. It shows a very, very big complexity uh, and well, harmony. Yeah. That's what I like with this. It's in the very sweet spot of maturation, like 18 to 21 years old is mm -hmm. the sweet spot of maturation. After that, you get into a more of a yeah, deep, oaky whiskey. Well, kind of good, too. Uh, before that, just younger. They could be good as well, but 18 to 21 is really good. And that one is priced at around 90 euros in Germany. So it's around, I don't know, $95. Uh, or why is it parity? Something around $90. And for 21-year-old whiskey, that is excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially for a single malt brand name and a good one as knock and do so this one is we actually chose it because it was good but it also would get a reward for uh, price for quality mm -hmm. and the ratio there it would probably be number one <laughs> yeah <laughs> not the next one <laughs> the next one is excellent the next one uh, 30 year old glenn farkless uh, top of the line and uh well uh, top of the price range here on the cast <laughs> more expensive than all others together? Yes, uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I started with Glenn Farkless, the 30 year old was around 100, I think, or 120. Mm -hmm. So today it's 700. So that's expensive. Uh, but the, well, the demand for those bottles had been so high and all around the world, they're looking for that bottle so you see this red color that shows sell it to china <laughs> <laughs> and so prices went up a lot mm -hmm. yes prices went up a lot with gun but the quality really remained excellent yeah we've um, been in the warehouses of glenn farkless for our 25th anniversary of the company mm -hmm. and there we've seen all these well gems lying there resting forever mm. and they have enough for not not really enough for keeping that to a low price no but uh, to satisfy demand uh, <laughs> sorry, i think they of the rich people in the world <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think they're keeping the demand or the <laughs> supply <laughs> steady with the price they just rise mm -hmm. the the price so they wouldn't sell as much to yeah. rent, say to they, they, they don't run dry it's, it's, it's uh, but I've uh, very rarely seen the 40 year old and mm. the 50 year old so I think they are quite gone so yeah they were probably really uh, replaced by the family cast series mm. where the very new one just appeared on the market yeah yeah so, the, the 30 years I was just an excellent whiskey yeah uh, but you could have probably guessed it with uh, just 30 years, Glenn Farkless. A lot of sherry cans. <laughs> it's very probable to say that such a whiskey is getting an award because you just know that there is some stuff coming just, out. We have none whiskey out of bourbon cask here. Mm. <laughs> solely of bourbon cask and one of mixed cask. And the rest is, or two of mixed cask. Mm. So I can do as well. And uh, well, the rest is Oloroso sherry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, 
there will be a lot of sherry still in in in, in Spain. <laughs> we heard that the sales dropped a lot, so oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> might have an influence on whiskey. There will be more sherry seasoned <laughs> cast. Yes, yeah, I've heard a lot about the sherry seasoned cast that is a uh, common practice now in in Scotland. Mm -hmm. They don't really hide that anymore. They just don't put it up to the forefront. Yeah, so this was our whiskey.com awards of the year 2022. And I have a bit of a, yeah, an upcoming thing with the awards. This was the last time we did it in this kind of fashion. Next up, we will only have three awards per month and per year. And we will actually rank the uh, awards. So it's going to be a uh, gold, silver and bronze medal for three whiskeys per month. The rest of them, we might put them there as nominations who have barely not made it. Uh, and this will probably give you a bit of a better hint. Uh, you've already gone with three to one today, <laughs> but next time we're actually going to have a little podium so we can show that to you as well. And they're going to be in, uh, also new award stickers, a bit more professional and uh, in colors. Yeah, different colors. Guess what colors? <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, upcoming is a bit of a change. Uh, keep a look out. Yeah. Thank you very much for such a great year of 2022 and see you next time.